Hello friends. Today I am going to discuss certain facts and myths about GATE and PSU exams in India. My name is Partha Saradi and I am an alumnus of IAC Bangalore and Bits Pilani. I also represent an organization called Ten Pointer, which is an online preparatory website for all technical exams in the country, mainly focused on uh, onto higher education programs okay, like GATE, IES, and PSU exams. There has been tremendous increase in the number of students who are attempting these examinations, and I felt. I would share some of the, some of the interesting things which which I got to know while well, I met number of students in the country for the last eight to nine years. The first point is you you need to re prepare rigorously for the examination at least three months before the examination. If you are a student who is the final final year or pre final year, three months would be a good be enough time for you to. Uh, score well in the examination but if you have already passed out or if you are a person who is working three months is not a good time so I suggest minimum six months you should dedicate yourself for this examination this is not like your semester examination where you just prepare one week before the examination and then you go and crack the examination the difference between your semester examination and and this examination is you can you, you know that there are certain questions that are that, that often come in the examination. So you can predict the questions in your semester examinations. But it's not like this in GATE. If you see all the previous year papers, you will never see or you will hardly find the questions repeating every year. So don't believe in, uh, in, in repetition of the questions. So keep that in mind. And also believe in understanding the concepts. Questions that are asked in GATE are asked on fundamentals. You will never find a question which is quite lengthy to be solved in the examination. On the other hand, if you take PSU exams, they may not be that tough as GATE. Okay, but if you, well, if you prepare well for GATE, then uh, uh, cracking these PSU exams will be quite easy. So it will be a cakewalk for you. So there you may expect some repetitive questions, but don't expect too much repetitive questions even though in, in such kind of uh, PSU examinations. But have a good clarity in, in concepts. Fundamentals are very important. Okay, spend a lot of time in understanding the fundamentals because questions that are asked in GATE are mainly focused on fundamentals. And they'll also be of a lot of help to you when you're preparing for interviews. After you get a good rank, okay, if you are in top 100 or so, still you may have to attend certain interviews right, to get into IITs or IAC or NITs, whatever. Good institutes in the country. So this will help a lot because you don't have much time. You have hardly uh, one month or maybe less than one month sometimes. So you'll have to quickly brush up all these fundamentals because in the interviews also they would try to focus on only fundamentals and not, not more than that. And take number of practice tests. And also don't limit yourself to taking tests only after you prepare all of them. This is one of the myths students have. When I talk to students, they say, sir, let me complete all these courses. Let me complete all the 9 plus 1, 10 courses for, for the examination. And then at the end, I will start uh, I'll start taking tests. That's a good idea. But what I suggest is, why do you want to wait till the end of the course? After, after you, com you complete uh, revising a particular topic or if you're good at a particular topic, stop, keep solving the problems. Okay. The more problems you solve, the more confident you become. Confidence matters a lot in this examination because you don't know what kind of questions that are asked in the examination. And you are not writing gate only for one or two papers. You are you have nine plus one about ten subjects, right? And then you switch from one subject to other subject while you attempt solving problems in the examination. For the exam for example, if you take EC students, they start from network theory, then control systems, digital and then uh, communications, then EDC, so, and there are one mark questions and two marks questions and, and when, you, when you are writing such kind of examination where you switch from one subject to other subject, you know, the switching time should be reduced and that can be reduced only if you practice a lot. Practicing, again, it's not just practicing will make you perfect. 
I feel right practice makes you perfect. I mean, you have to understand the concept properly, understand a particular topic, and then apply, apply formulae and and solve the problems. The more solve, the more problems you solve, the more confident you become. That's it. Nothing more than that. Okay, because you will never get the same problem in the examination. Okay, maybe this is helpful. Uh, for you when you are writing PSU exam because at times in PSU exams you will get a, a question which you have already seen okay? so that that's a advantage of having tests uh, advantage of, of taking a lot of tests okay and keep writing tests as you complete prepare as, as you complete preparation of a topic don't wait till the till the end of the course okay so as you keep writing tests then you will you will realize that you know you, you have you are becoming confident uh, uh, day by day and then that will help you in, in, in understanding the other topics better or in, in increasing your interest in, in preparing for the other top, topics aggressively or other courses aggressively. Should you join a coaching institute for this? The answer is yes and no. It has its own pros and cons. You, have, you get ready, 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 ready made material in the coaching institute. But today in this digital world I can tell you that if you put some effort getting material is not is not a big deal you have lot of textbooks available you have uh, you have numerous ebooks available in the internet you have lot of uh, lectures available over the internet and also you have offline you, you, you have your conventional textbooks you have material gathered from different coaching institutes I don't think that only uh, or attending only a coaching institute will fetch you a good rank. If you look at the statistics, the all India rankers are the students who have ne who have never attended any coaching institute. Several all India rankers they, they don't attend coaching institutes. Okay, but I'm, I'm not saying it's bad to attend a coaching institute. But what I'm trying to say is, if you have, if if if, if the time is very critical to you, and if you are unable to manage attending a coaching institute so I, I suggest that even then you can uh, you can prepare yourself take the guidance of your friends take the guidance of your faculty take the guidance of uh, 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 several uh, good institutions good online portals and still you can uh, you, you can get all India rank and do not do not think about next year gate while you're preparing this year gate don't convince yourself saying that you know let me prepare let me just see what gate is this year and then let me crack this examination next year that that's that's a that's a, that's a myth that students uh, students have many students who who just want to see what it is no it's not a good idea you don't know what will happen next year and you see if you if you if you see the the previous year papers one thing which students can't understand is or they, can't, they don't realize